Hey guys, welcome to our second van build video. Uh, this week we had one sunny day and what? six rainy days, so we decided to install our fan on the one sunny day. Unfortunately, the one sunny day also had 40 mile an hour winds, so the audio quality is a little bit shaky. Uh, sorry about that, but without further ado, let's uh, get on the roof and install the fan. <laughs> so today we're going to be installing our thing we did was buy an adapter. Uh, so we got this piece of plastic here. Got it online off eBay. We'll link that in the description. So <clears throat> what we do is we set the, uh, the adapter on our roof on one of the ribs uh, and outline it in tape so it doesn't move around when we're drilling. Then our next step is we're going to punch a hole through the roof through the center of the adapter space just to make sure that everything's aligned properly inside we measured always measure twice cut once uh, but uh but that's what we're gonna do right now so you guys will see us drilling our first hole through our van it's a very stressful moment all right here we go done. Now let's check it from the inside. Woo! Now we have a hole in our roof. <laughs> so after we finished cutting a hole through the roof, we took the adapter and we had just attached some 3M BHB tape. This is the strongest tape that we found uh, anywhere. And we used that to adhere it to the roof of the van. Uh, so we stuck that on. We had to be really quick with that since uh, it only has a small workable time. Uh, Right before we did that, we cleared and prepped everything with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, now what we're gonna do is start installing the fan, right? So we have the exterior flange that we already adhered 3M BHB tape to. And I'm just gonna peel that the, the other layer off, the other side, so it's double-sided tape. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to stick this on top of the, uh, the adapter. So I'm just gonna take this off one this one and it might take you guys a few seconds to uh, to peel this off we uh, we started it that's that's why it's so easy for us but the first time you're peeling this you really got to use your fingernail and dig on dig in there all right so now that this is completely taken make sure that your metal is uh, facing to the left and to the right the, the parts where the fan screws in and then we're just going to place it right on top of there like so and just push down firm. All right, we're going to go over all of that with a blow dryer, but first we're going to drill our screws. So I have with me some extended one, one and a half inch uh, sheet metal screws. The van comes with some screws, uh, but they weren't long enough. They would only go into the adapter that we bought, so we wanted to go through our entire roof just to make sure that this thing stays on no matter what kind of weather we're in. And here we go. Now that we got all the screws in, it's time to uh, mount the fan, right? So uh, our first step is going to be to make sure that your fan is all the way open. You do that just by cranking it open, right? And then, uh, and then we make sure the wires go down on the inside and place it over the top of the hole, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is uh, look 
through our screws and find the ones we use to seal the fan in place. And pop those in the sides. align perfectly so we had to call tech support <laughs> and they told us to just um, take out the rubber seal to um, so we did that and now the holds lined up perfectly but because we didn't have the waterproof sealing anymore we just uh, put a lot of silicon all in the where the flange and the fan meet and we just like sealed everything up and uh, yeah that's what we did. That's the last step that we did today. We just uh, sealed all the sides that could like possibly have any water in it. We like sealed all the screws up too. And uh, now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. And tomorrow we're gonna put another coating on it. It's gonna make it absolutely waterproof. Okay, as soon as we installed the fan, it started raining again over here. So we had to go back in the van and work inside. And we decided to um, frame our walls. And now we're going to show you how we frame our walls with the plus nuts that we already installed. So today we're going to be installing our framing. Uh, so we already installed our plus nuts in a previous video. Uh, so what we did is we went out and bought some 1x3s. Uh, this wood is going to be strong enough for us to drill into it in the future and put our walls on it. But it's also flexible enough and light enough uh, to use as our, as our studs, as our framing. So what we're doing here is we bought um, some hanger screws. These screws are, if you can see, pointed on one end and then normal threaded on the other end, quarter inch number 20 thread. Uh, and these just thread into the plus nuts and we hand tighten those. Once those are tightened, we cut out a piece of one by three in the dimensions that we need it. So we measured here and we just fit it over on top of these hanger screws and push down so that it leaves an imprint on the back of the wood. And then what we do is we take a drill and drill through um, with a little bit bigger of a drill bit than we need for our screws to, to bolt into the plus nuts. So eventually we have a finished piece of wood that looks like this, two holes, one on either end, uh, that matches perfectly with the plus nuts in the wall. Then what we're going to do is uninstall the hanger screws and install the bolts that we use to bolt into the wall. Uh, what we got here for bolting it to the wall are just some machine screws. These are quarter inch 20 thread, two inches long screws. And we just fit those into the holes and put that on the wall like this. And then, sorry, I put this in the wrong way, like this. <laughs> and then all we do is tighten these two bolts and we have our frame. And so I'm just gonna get a drill and do that. After we did the framing, we got another sunny day here in Michigan, so we went back on the roof and we installed our solar panel. We got this um, 270 watt Canadian solar panel and uh, we drilled two more holes <laughs> into the roof of our van and uh, fed the cables um, through the van and then we sealed everything with silicone to make it all waterproof. and then. Um, we just fastened the whole solar panel to the roof by using those L-shaped brackets and then we used the tape, the, the 3M whatever super strong tape that Scott has um, to, um, to basically just stick it 
on the roof and then we have those bolts that we put into the sides of our solar panel and so we got two on this side two on this side and we also have like a long l-shaped bracket at the front and uh, we just um taped all the brackets to the roof and bolted the solar panel onto them and now it's pretty sturdy it's not going anywhere